For the first DIY, I'm going to be using some popsicle sticks to make some ice cream bars to go on a sign for my tiered tray. I'm going to make a mark at the one inch point for both sides of the popsicle sticks for all three of them. And then this is going to make a total of six ice cream bars or popsicles. So once I have them all marked, I'm going to go ahead and use my X-Acto knife to cut them. And then I'm going to use these skinny little wood sticks, and this time I'm going to mark it at the half inch mark on both sides. So again, you're going to need a total of three of the little skinny wood sticks. And then I'm going to do the same thing and cut the ends off with an X-Acto knife. And these are going to be the popsicle sticks of the popsicles. And then once I have them all cut out, I'm going to use a little bit of sandpaper to quickly sand down the edges of each of the pieces. And then I'm going to paint two of the popsicles white, two pink, and two brown because I am making this tiered tray set a Neapolitan ice cream theme. So you're going to see that basically everything I make fits that theme and these three colors are basically the main colors of the tiered tray set. Next I'm staining this wood plaque that I got from Michaels and this is what I'm going to be putting all of the popsicles on and I'm using my Waverly and taking wax to stain this and basically I just wet a piece of paper towel and then smear the stain on it to get a little bit of a lighter stain versus if you use a dry paper towel you're going to get a darker stain so I wanted this one to be a little bit lighter so I wet the paper towel first. So I put a piece of tape on the bottom of the sign so that I can line up all of the popsicles and make sure that they're all going to be even. So I laid them out first before gluing each of them on and I started by gluing on the popsicle part first before I glued on the stick of the popsicle. And once I have all those glued on, I'm going to go ahead and glue on all of the popsicle sticks to all of my popsicles. And now you can see that it actually looks like a popsicle once you have that glued on. I used my Cricut to cut out the word summer with some vinyl and I am going to place each letter of the word summer on a different popsicle. And I also cut out the word sweet with more of a cursive looking font and I put this above at the top of my sign so that it spells out sweet summer and I think this came out super cute and I really like how the little popsicles came out. For the second DIY I'm going to be using this wood crate 
from Dollar Tree. And I'm going to be doing the same Neapolitan colors. So I'm starting by painting the top book on the crate with some white paint. Then I'm going to paint the middle book of the book stack with this dark brown color. And for the bottom book, I'm going to go ahead and paint this one with the light pink paint. And again, I used my Cricut to cut out the words vanilla, chocolate, and strawberry. And then I'm going to apply these onto each of the books so that it coordinates with the colors. Then to finish up my book stack, I used some twine and wrapped this around the left side of it and tied it in a bow at the top. And here is a look at the finished ice cream themed book stack. Next I'm using this little flower pot to make an ice cream cone. And I'm starting by painting the bottom part of the flower pot with this light brown color for the cone. And then I'm going to use a dark brown to paint on the little like waffle cone pattern. So basically I just made big X's all the way around the whole bottom of the pot to achieve the look of a waffle cone. Then I used the light pink paint to paint the rim of the flower pot. And once I had the whole rim painted, I basically painted around a bunch of big drips. And then I'm going to make it look like the ice cream is dripping down the cone. So then I took the big drips and extended a few of them. And yeah, basically make it look like the ice cream is just dripping down the cone. Then I use my dotting tool to put sprinkles all around the pink ice cream part of this ice cream cone. And I originally did this ice cream cone pot as one of the first DIYs I did. And then later on I realized that these sprinkle colors really did not match well with the rest of the tear tray set. So you're going to see that I ended up changing some of the colors of the sprinkles and I basically just painted over top of the ones that didn't match well. But I started by using rainbow colors but in the end I did change them just because um, it didn't really match well. Here is the ice cream themed pie after I changed the sprinkle colors so this is what it ended up looking like. For the next DIY, I'm going to be using this wood plaque that I got from Michaels and again I'm going to be using my Waverly Antiquing Wax to stain it with a wet paper towel. Then I sketched out the shape of an ice cream cone on the right side of the sign and I made sure to leave some space on the left because I'm going to be putting a cute little saying on it. Now that the ice cream cone shape is sketched out, I'm going to go ahead and paint it, starting by painting the ice cream cone with this golden brown color. And for the ice cream, I'm going to stick with the Neapolitan ice cream and basically paint a stripe of each color so I'm starting by painting the far right of the ice cream with this light pink color for the strawberry flavored ice cream 
And then I painted the left side with the dark brown color for the chocolate ice cream and I made sure to leave a little section in the middle for the white. And I also added a couple of drips of the chocolate ice cream to make it look like it is melting. And I made sure to let the chocolate and strawberry ice cream parts dry before painting the vanilla ice cream in the middle with just this last stripe of white paint. And then I used my Cricut to cut out We All Scream for Ice Cream and then putting this cute little saying on the left part of my sign. And then that is it for this cute little ice cream sign. Next, I'm going to be showing you how to make some mini little ice cream sandwiches using craft foam. And for the white craft foam, you're going to want to make sure that you get the thicker kind and not the regular thinner craft foam because this is going to be the ice cream part of the ice cream sandwich, so you want it to be a little bit thicker. And for mine, I made it 2 inches by 1 inch, so I just marked it out with a ruler and then cut that out. Then I'm using some of this regular thinner black foam and I'm going to leave a little bit of an edge around the white foam and then cut two of these out for the top and bottom of the ice cream sandwich. So you're just going to want to make sure you make it a little bit bigger than the white ice cream part. So here I am just testing to make sure the size is good and then what I'm going to do to make this look like a Neapolitan ice cream sandwich is paint a third of it pink and then on one side and then the other side I'm going to paint with the brown paint. Then I'm going to glue the two black pieces of foam to the top and bottom of the ice cream part of the ice cream sandwich to complete it. And I think this was a super quick and easy little DIY and these mini ice cream sandwiches look super cute on the tear tray. Next up, I'm going to be making a little ice cream gnome using a Dollar Tree pom-pom. And then I'm going to use this piece of white felt. And I folded it in half and then kind of made a triangle shape. And mine was a little bit curved on accident because it was a little bit shorter of a piece since it was already cut out. But I made it a little bit straighter later on so just know you don't really want it to be curved like that um and then here is how big mine ended up being for reference then i just rolled the piece of felt up and made sure that it was going to be the right size to fit over the pom-pom And I used hot glue to go ahead and glue together the seam of the hat and I started at the top and did a small section. And before I glued together the bottom of the hat, I put it over top of the pom-pom to make sure I would glue it together and it would still fit. So here I am just testing to make sure the hat is going to fit over top of the pom-pom before gluing it together.
And then once I glued it all the way to the bottom, I went ahead and trimmed up the bottom part to make it all even. This pink pom-pom ball from Dollar Tree is going to be the gnome's beard. So I went ahead and pulled off the little clip part of it because it is a keychain and also cut off the tag. There is still this little white part in the center so you want to make sure that that is underneath the hat. And then I'm using a piece of this brown felt to make a chocolate trip all the way around the hat. So here I am sketching a bunch of chocolate trips at the top of the felt and I'm just making them all different sizes and I made it sure to go almost all the way across so that I had enough to wrap around the hat. And I went ahead and cut this out and glued it onto the hat about halfway. So I just used my hot glue gun to glue this on as well. And I started by gluing on the front four drips and then wrapped around the other sides and trimmed off the excess. And then I stuffed my hat with an extra piece of felt I had laying around. You could use stuffing, but I just used this since it was right next to me. And then I decided I wanted to glue the top of the hat down, so I just used some hot glue to do this. Then I went ahead and applied some hot glue on the inside bottom edge of the hat and then placed it on top of the pom pom, making sure the little white keychain part was facing up to cover it with the hat. And then I'm going to use one of these little wood buttons from Hobby Lobby for the gnome's nose. And I went ahead and used my hat glue gun to glue this on and just make sure that a little bit of the nose is underneath the hat. To finish up this mini little ice cream gnome, I'm going to add some sprinkles to the hat. And to make these sprinkles, I used polymer clay and just rolled out some small little coils and then cut them down and baked them according to the instructions on the clay. And I'm just gluing these onto the chocolate drip part of the hat and I'm going to do this all the way around the hat. And here is the completed little ice cream gnome. And next up, I'm going to be making a beaded garland. And for this, I went ahead and painted large wood beads, pink, brown, and white to keep the Neapolitan theme going. And then strung these on to a piece of twine with a twine tassel at the end. For the other end of my beaded garland, I'm going to put this little wood tag on it. So here I am sketching out an ice cream cone shape. And then I'm going to go ahead and paint the cone of the ice cream with this golden brown color. And I wanted this ice cream cone to be strawberry ice cream, so I'm using my light pink paint to paint the whole ice cream. And then I'm using this dark brown color to paint on some chocolate drips at the top of the ice cream cone. So I just started by painting the top of it and then adding some large drips going down the ice cream. And finally, I'm going to go ahead and add on some sprinkles using my dotting tool. And for the sprinkle colors, I'm going to go ahead and use white, purple, and blue.
And once I finish painting my ice cream cone, I'm going to go ahead and tie on this wood tag to the other end of my beaded garland to finish it off. And I think this came out super cute and matches the tear tray really well. The last thing that I added on to my ice cream tear tray was this little ice cream truck that I got from Dollar Tree in the fairy garden section. I ended up repainting over the whole thing, but this video is already pretty long, so I'm not going to show you the whole process of me repainting it. But here you can see what the ice cream truck ended up looking like after I repainted it. And this is what the final ice cream tiered tray looked like with everything all put together.